We do a lot of dentures in our office, and it's always an honor and a privilege to be able to transition somebody from having teeth to not having teeth. And the reason I say that is because there's a huge psychologic component to it, and I feel privileged to be a part of helping somebody through that transition. A lot of times, patients who decide to get rid of their teeth and switch to dentures think that it's an easy decision and they'll be carefree and never have to worry about their mouth again. But it's an unrealistic expectation that's usually fueled by some loved one in their life saying, well, when I got dentures, um, it was easy and uh, I, d I didn't have any transition at all. To which I would say, I think they've just forgotten. They forgot the hard part. It's a lot like having a baby. <laughs> you have the baby and right afterwards it's, it's really hard and there's a lot of pain and discomfort with um, disruption to your life. But once you have that little bundle of joy and all the good things that come with it, and as time heals and fades the memories, you forget about the hard parts. So a well-meaning, well-intentioned loved one who says, why are you still dealing with your teeth? Just get dentures. It's easy. Is unknowingly setting their loved one up for a really hard transition. What people forget is when you have your teeth pulled, you are amputating a body part. It is not dissimilar from losing a limb. And just like somebody who loses a limb and has to be fit for a prosthetic, so too are dentures to the mouth. They are a prosthetic to replace a missing body part. And as you get that new prosthetic, there's going to be adjustment periods. There's going to be sore spots. The first prosthetic you get may be your favorite or you may hate it. But for sure, the second prosthetic or the second set of dentures that you get are going to feel different than the first. And that's a transition. So if you love the first one, then you might not love the second set and so on. If you hate the first one, you may love the second one, but it still is going to have a new adjustment period. Um, it's like people who have a favorite pair of tennis shoes and buy that same brand over and over again. When you get the new pair of tennis shoes, they feel differently. Even if they're the same brand, they're going to feel more tight. You may get a blister. And that's how dentures are. But back to the part that I love. I love working with somebody, helping them transition to this new, beautiful smile without the, usually they're doing it because they have gum disease or cavities that they've struggled with for years. And dentures are the ultimate aesthetic. We can pick any color, any shape. We can give somebody a beautiful new smile. And in the process, we can also replace what's been lost over time, the height of the bite. So denture patients can often look like they've had a facelift. And their friends say, oh, you look so much younger. What have you had done? And if I do my job right, they won't be able to put their finger on the fact that it's the teeth that are different. They'll just say, oh, you just look beautiful. Um, you can check out our website for some before and after pictures of some cases. You'll have to hunt for them because a lot of times denture patients don't want anyone to know that that's what they've had done. We do a type of denture called Foy dentures, Fountain of Youth dentures, and they're not your average um, discount, den discount denture. They are really high quality, beautiful teeth. And like I said, if I do my job right, nobody should know that anything was done. So anyway, I hope this helps everybody to understand that the denture transition isn't as easy as you might have heard. But for somebody who's struggled with their teeth for years, it can be a wonderful wonderful solution to get them that beautiful smile. Thanks for listening.